How's everybody doing? Good. Am I doing all right? See what you're doing. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired, but I've, it's a good, good feeling, certainly. Good feeling, certainly. What was going through your head after Zed's dunk at the beginning of the game, and what did that do for the team's energy during the rest? Listen, Zed's dunk, certainly, but also just how hard and active he played to start the game, I thought was, was uh, contagious and gave us a good, good boost to start the game. What does your relationship with Zed mean to you? Yeah, I love Zed. Um, Zed is, Zed's a great, he's not a kid. I almost said great kid. He's a young man. He's a great young man. And um, he's the type of guy that you, like, you love having over to your house and being around your family. He's like a, a, a family favorite. And, you know, I think the, the thing about Zed that I'm most proud of is he showed some real growth. Uh, since, since he got here and you know maybe even more so off the court which is which is ultimately what what this is about so I love Zed his, his family's awesome the support they provide for him by coming to so many games and um, we, we got to build a relationship through recruiting and start starting out and then you know to coach him and yeah, he's, he's a special young man Jake, when we talked to Juwan, he said, when things aren't going well, food doesn't taste the same, your pillow is harder. So how does your food taste right now, and how does your <laughs> pillow feel right now? Well, I think, first off, I just have a lot of respect for Coach Howard and that program, and I think this game means a ton. And you can, we talked about this leading into, like you can throw the, the records out the window and just expect like a, a, a real battle. Um, so, you know, and I think that's what makes this rivalry so good is, is, is there's a level of respect and some other feelings and emotions, you know, towards them certainly. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, my, everything just, I'm a little tired, probably more than the, the food tastes better or not. It, I just feel tired. You know, I think that's been, been the biggest difference you know, for me personally, and just being transparent, I'm a little, a little, a little more tired. Defensively, the way that this team has played now for a pretty good stretch, you, you continue to hold teams in check more than you did a couple of weeks ago, and you're able to stop runs before they can get out of hand. What, what is ultimately differently about this team? Juwan said it's a lot, in a lot of ways, the same, but you're getting better results. What is different about you guys defensively? I think we're playing with more urgency and aggressiveness. And you're seeing that with some of the turnover numbers. But uh, the sense of urgency, aggressiveness, and then I would also say just, just how together and connected we are. And it certainly wasn't perfect today by any means. But um, especially coming out of halftime, I felt like we were, so, we, were, we were really connected and together. Jake, congrats on the win. You Thank said you. you can throw all the records out of the window. But how much more special does it make it that this game was your fourth win in the last five games? Yeah, you know, we've really tried to focus on the task at hand, and this game is special specifically because it's the team up north, you know. So I think that's that's real. And we've, we, like I said before, we leaned into this, this game, you know, it's kind of one game against our rival. Um, but certainly we're feeling some momentum. I think that's real. And our guys have earned that. But if we start to look too far ahead or we start to think about other things, you know, this college basketball can change quickly. So our, we got to keep focusing on the task at hand. And right now it's, you know, having some good practices with this and getting rest with this time we have in between games and, and then a, a great opportunity going into a, you know, a gym that's really hard to play in against a team that's, you know, really been playing well, it feels like the last, you know, few weeks. Another one for you on, on defense in the first half. It seemed like Zed and Philos were just a tad late on the low help, whether it was Terrence or Doug or Namari driving in. What changed in the second half? And how do you guys plan to attack that moving forward? Yeah, we, we talk a lot about their level in the ball screen. Um, I think that's what you're talking about. The ball screen is kind of that double where they ran two guys up to okay. some. What was he talking about down low? Uh, oh, you're saying in the post? Yeah. OK, yeah, yeah. We, we, we let the ball in a little too easy in the first half. Um, so I think, now listen, those two guys are, they're good individual defenders. We also didn't provide enough help 
it felt like in the gaps with the with you know being active from the perimeter to help the post defense. But we did a better job of that in the second half. Terrace Reed's a good player, and you know we even though he caught it deeper, I felt like Felix and Zed they they fought, they battled. There was a physicality, and they and they made a miss. You know, a few that that he's certainly capable of making, but they made a good adjustment coming out in the uh, in the second half. Jake, you say you're more aggressive, but it also looks like you're playing more <coughs> relaxed or looser, which is an interesting little thing. How have you gotten them to do that? Where where is a little more of a relaxed, not as, as uptight? I don't know if you're seeing that, if you sense that. So you've got this mix of aggression and yet more relaxed. Yeah, we're, we're, we're playing to win, you know, I think, and, and not that we weren't before, certainly, but I just feel like our, our mentality, our focus is to stay aggressive. And we weren't perfect. We were overly aggressive in a couple gaps where we, we had some turnovers. And I think also, you know, we're, we're still working through, you know, some of the shots at times. But what, what I, what I want to make sure we're not doing is looking over, you know, like we need to stay aggressive. We need to play with pace. We need to try and strike early. Those are things we've we've talked about consistently. But I think the, I think maybe what you're referencing too is there's a confidence guys have right now, and I think that's where you're seeing kind of this aggressive, but also, you know, you said loose. But I think it's confidence. You're speaking of confidence. You're four and one over the last five. Not that you ever doubted your ability, but is this a con is there any confirmation or any just satisfaction for, from you as a coach to say? I can do this? Well, we're four and one. I, th I think most importantly, our, our staff, you know, <clears throat> I understand that it's like I'm the one sitting here and I get that, but our, our staff, like they deserve so much credit for, you know, what we've been able to do, how we've come together in the last, you know, couple weeks. I've talked about this. This has been really hard for all of us. Um, and it takes a whole program, I think, to, to fight through at the adversity that we were dealt. So um, I, I think I said this earlier too, the games were kind of, the, that was the part I was least worried about. You know, I, I've been, I've, it's been well documented, the, the, you know, my family and the, the coaching that's in, in my family. And so I'm so thankful for just my dad having me in the gym when I was able to walk. And I love this game and I got that from him. And so the games, that part was, uh, that was kind of the least of my, my worries. Not that I had it figured out, but there were just other things to, to focus on. But we, we, our program, I think most importantly is, is four and one with, you know, but we, we got to keep going. Uh, yeah, first thing, uh, I, 22 to two in fast break points. Uh, you know, we, we taught, you've talked a lot about pushing the pace in games, aggressive offense, aggressive defense. I mean, did you see that maximized in this one as you built that lead? Yeah, yeah, I felt like our, our, our guards and our guys who, who we want to rebound and, and push it, I thought they played with great pace. And part of playing with pace is everybody else has to get out and run too. Certainly our turnovers helped with that. Like we were able to get some, some um, you know, advantages, numbers advantages because of the turnovers we've, we forced. But our guys are running their lanes hard. They're running the floor hard. They're pushing the ball hard. We've been working on that. that that's the urgency side. You know, we, we've talked about playing with urgency. We talked about the defense. That's part of the offensive urgency that we need to operate with on a consistent basis because I, I've said this, it is hard in this league with this coaching in this league and the experience in this league, it's hard to score over and over again in, in the half court. So you got to try to create mismatches with pace. You got to try to get the ball ahead of the defense at times. And our guys have embraced that. We found half court success too. 71% uh, in the second half shooting the ball. Um, just I, how, how did how, how do you get to that number on offense? That's pretty ridiculous. Being connected. You know, I, I think that's that's the biggest thing. Being connected, guys playing to their strengths. Um, but we, we, you know, every huddle we break is is family. and. The connection that our guys have right now is 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 really special. Jake, I know the 40 bench points is a little bit distorted with senior day in the lineup and everything, but how much of that is a validation to what you guys are doing with the depth and the rotation? You know, Dale scoring 10, Zed nine, what Scotty's been able to do lately? Yeah, I, our depth has been really it, it's it's been a real strength for us, especially these last couple weeks. Um, you know, yeah, Roddy scoring 15 15 points. He's obviously a. I, I think you could say this. We have a lot of starting quality players on this team, 
and you know guys are are stepping up they're playing with confidence that we talked about which is helping that certainly but you know we, we've we've got a lot of different ways we can score the ball for us to score you know 84 points and and Jamison have eight on five field goal attempts like I I wouldn't have been able to anticipate that but I think it speaks to just the versatility of this team, the depth of this team. We've done a much better job getting to the free throw line. We're playing through the paint a little bit more and more aggressive. So I think that's good. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm proud of how guys have stepped up in their, in, their, in their time. And I think that's gonna be important for us you know, the rest of the way. You mentioned the time off. How do you maximize that? It's not always that you have the bye week this late in the season. Is it still go, go, go in practice? Do you take you know, your foot off the pedal a little bit? How do you approach that? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make some calls to some people who have some more experience than I do in this. Uh, certainly, we'll, we'll talk about it as a staff. Um, but I think we do. We need to get some rest, but we need to keep the momentum, and there's a, there's a balance there. But we'll, we'll meet. We'll figure that out. I'll lean on some, 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 uh, some of my mentors to kind of help, help figure that out. We'll lean on the staff, certainly. But I think it's you're right. It's a balance. But when we're on the court, we don't want to sacrifice the urgency and stuff we've been practicing with. So we could shorten the time certainly um, and, and do things like that. You know, off days, we got, we got to, we have some flexibility this week to, uh, to help us get ready. A, a coach put in your situation would be challenging no matter what, but you immediately get the number two team. Then you immediately have to go on the road to a couple of difficult places and you immediately then get a rivalry game. The last two weeks, for you personally, has it felt like a blur? Has it felt like a year? Uh, is sleep difficult? Uh, what has it been like for you, all this one after another, the two weeks, last two weeks? Yeah, well, I think when you really step back and put it the way you just put it, it, uh, it is pretty hard. Um, I think for, first and foremost, I, I've been open about this. Like, I'm, I'm getting strength from my faith, and, and that's, that's – that's the foundation. The next part, like my wife is unbelievable. She's like a she's like a superhero with what she's able to do. We we have a growing family, um, and her support for me is, is like I I didn't think it could somehow get any better, but it just it it has. So I've I've gained a lot of strength from her and and her support. Um, at some point, kind of after the season, you know, I think we'll be able to sit back and reflect on, on, you know, what we ultimately end up accomplishing. It's not to diminish what we have accomplished because I think our guys and the people in this program deserve so much credit for what we've been able to accomplish in this short period of time. But, yeah, faith first, my, my wife next. And then we have, I think that that connection that we have right now within our program is, is it's, it's empowering me too. Yeah. Um, you guys have been closing out games. I mean, you really closed out today, which <clears throat> as we know was, was a struggle earlier in the year. Is this a mental toughness thing? Is it justice connected stuff? Or how, how does this, the mental focus play into that? Yeah, I think I'm sure it's a little bit of both. I think some of it is is players making plays and stepping up. Um, it's been great to see different guys in those moments where the game could potentially swing. That we've seen different guys within our team step up. There's been, I mean, I think you know the the, the guys who maybe the veterans you, you think about certainly, but then you think about some of the big threes Scotty Middleton's hit in some of these games or some of Devin Royal's big minutes. I I. I I keep going back to Felix and just how impactful he's been, you know, these last few games. Uh, so that's, that's been the, the – it's been different guys every game. But then I, I feel like the confidence, the aggressiveness we're playing with really down the stretch has, has been, a, been a great thing for us. Coach, I, I don't know what went through your mind when you took over the program, but I don't know how many people around Ohio State thought that March, more so two weeks from today, was a possibility that your name could be called. Now, obviously, you guys are playing for that. How much do you talk about that? I mean, how much does every game at this point, point become a bracket game? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what went through my mind, and my first thought was with Holt, to be honest with you. That was, like, I, I just... My heart broke for for him, and and just his his family because I know how much he poured into this program, 
Um, and then I thought about our players and I thought about, okay, you know, Gene had asked me to, to do this and he was very clear, like, we need to make it about them. So we, we went to work our staff doing that right away. Uh, as far as, you know, kind of the position we put ourselves in, I think you see every year, this time of year, you see teams, you know, get some momentum, you see them win some games. And, and to me, though, like, our focus has to be on Rutgers. I want our guys to enjoy this game tonight and, and you know, spend time with their families who are in town and, and certainly, you know, beating your rival at any point of the season is, is, is big. But we have to turn the page and we got to focus on Rutgers. They're, they're a really good team. And I understand that, you know, we're, we're our momentum is giving like some, some things for people to talk about. And that's exciting. I, I also need to need to say I've, the the energy in the shot today, especially, but you, even just these last last few home games has been unbelievable. And for our guys to be able to experience that, that's that's been awesome. So I, all the things you're talking about are, are connected, you know. And it, it's been it's been hard, it's been challenging, but it's you know our guys I think are having some fun and um, they're motivated. So. We have to keep that going, but there's nothing more important now than than the next one. Jake, I know every coach is going to do senior day differently. Some guys might roll your best five out there, and let's just make sure to get our seniors a few minutes. Some might start all the seniors if they're walk-ons or scholarship, and you so you start Owen today, even at the risk of maybe you could start out slow and fall behind starting a walk-on. What is what has Owen provided to the program where you trusted him and said you know, you're you're starting this game today? Well, he's, he earned the right to start. It was really an easy decision. He earned the right to start. He deserved to start. We tried to run a play for him uh, the first play. But we get to see every – like, you guys don't get to see how important he is to our program. But, I mean, think about this now. You go to practice every day and you're battling Zed Key and you're battling Felix and Austin Parks. And, you, you know, and then you don't get to go – like get the reward of playing on game day a whole lot. So his love for this program is, is real. He deserved, I, you know, he deserved everything he got. I wanted him to get a basket so bad, but he, he deserved it. It was an easy decision because of just what he's about and how much he's poured into this program. He, he's, he's really, really important to this program. So we needed to honor that. And were you more surprised that Bruce got up with that dunk or that Zed was sprinting down the sideline almost to the Michigan side when Bruce threw the dunk down? Yeah, so <laughs> I've challenged Bruce um, since I've known him. He's always told me how he could dunk, and I just said I've never really seen it uh, in a game. And that was impressive. That was impressive. I'm sure I will forever hear about that. I can no longer – talk to him or you know I even said I said something to Roddy I'm like Roddy did he dunk that and he's like yeah I'm like well now he's got more dunks than you you know so we have a great relationship um I don't know if that's true I guess Roddy did have a dunk I think now that I think about it maybe it was after but I'm had listen we've talked about how special Bruce is and I, I think he he doesn't get credit for the the complete athlete that he is because he's not really making a ton of plays above the rim. But he's a, he is a phenomenal athlete. He works really, really hard to stay um, in great condition and, and be able to maximize you know, his, his ability. Um, and Zed, if I, Zed moves really fast, because I've been kind of pushing the limit a couple times of trying to get better at that, of being out there. And Zed, Zed was well past me, and he was there quickly. So we'll, we'll evaluate the film on that and see if we can utilize some of that speed and, and maybe some ball screen coverages or some other things. Yeah, I, I know you probably don't want to get into specific conversations, but uh, today, with obviously being a senior day, what was the message to your seniors specifically? Uh, just throw a lot of message and like, a lot of them have been through a lot of adversity the last uh, year, some of them multiple years at Ohio State. So what was like the overall message to the group? The overall message was thank you for, thank you for obviously not, not just coming here, but like seeing this season through the way they have. 
and it it, it hasn't gone you know the stretches certainly would not none, none of us anticipated being like that and they you know Jameson's been vocal about why he came here and so thank you first and you know I love you I, I think those were the those were the messages and um, I learned from my dad at a very young age like basketball team that it really is a family and we've had people who played for my dad probably before I was even born he still talks to and I, the, the amount of messages and in, in former players of his that have reached out to me and then you know you look at like the Valpo family that I have the amount of former like teammates and coaches and stuff that have reached out to me during this this time that basketball's it's it's such a great game and the, the family stuff if, if you if you if you treat the game right and you really pour everything you have into it you do leave with the family and so those guys know that if they ever need anything from me like all they have to do is pick up the phone and call even if that's 20 years from now um, and the message was to the the rest of the team we need to honor them today you know I, I think that was the other message so I appreciate your question but I, I think that that family stuff is is real, and I've I've seen it my whole life. So I want to continue to to keep that going. Jake, thanks. All right, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.